My name is Kennedy Agola. I'm an entrepreneur and uh, I'm also a father and a loving husband. We've been married for around 10 years now. Yeah. My name is Ida, Ida Kinyi Omondi. This one is my husband. To me, she is 10 years. Ah. Na tunafurahia sana kukuwa pamoja tumetoka mbali <laughs> ataeleza vile tulikutana <laughs> <laughs> okay we met, we met in 2008 at some shopping mall actually uh, we were out partying with some friends so nikatoka nje kidogo i was with a, another friend of mine so kutoka nje so we both saw her. So initially, Rafiki Yangu ndeli mo approach CV. So he to come when there, to come salimia, nini nini. But then what happened? My friend's phone was off. So I come home number. So being that my phone was had power, had the charge, to katumia yangu kuchikuwa number yake. <laughs> so after that, my friend was like, Nipati number ya Ida, natakum, nikamambia, we, number gani? Even though nikamuosha. By the way, siku, siku juwa ta niye, ama ni yule, siku juwa. Jiyo time, stime ilikuwa imepotea. Ilikuwa nafanya kazi na KPLC. So ile wanakuja, unaitua nani, kawambia, alafa kwa uliza, unafanya kazi gani? Imagine, first day, unafanya kazi gani? <laughs> Kwa ambia, unafanya kazi na Kenya Power. Ati, ah, nyindi ume tupotezi ya Stima. Eh, Ebu, tusaidie namba. Saa, mi nilijua, by the time, nilijua naongea na yule mwingine. Siku jua naongea na ye. Eh. Hivo, 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 kani ingiza box. Eh. Bada, ndo nikakunja, nikajua, kumbe si ye ali niomba namba. <laughs> Nika wada FB, kama ule muenzake, analia, uli niosha bibi. <laughs> Ivo, to kind of learn, kupushi ivo ivo, to kawana, to kaza kuishi. Ukiwa demu nangali anga vitu mingi, nangali ya mano mana kujali, ni mume ana jali, mtu ana kujali, anta kujuli hali kila wakati, unaendelea aji umekula, yani at least unaskia kuna mtu kando yako unaskia. Ivo ivo tu to messages, ana kutit poa. Kitu kama hiyo tu, ilifanya ni kampenda. <laughs> Vitu vidogo vidogo. <laughs> Sunajua before upende kitu, unayangalia nena. The, the physical outlook. She's beautiful. And then pia ni mcheshi sana. She's someone so jovial, ever happy. Ako sociable. And then pia ako so understanding. Nakuta kuna some events tokea kwa life, maybe you have some issues in she's so confiding na welcoming naweza sema hivyo aliamua ni kama aliamua aliamua nataka kuishi na mimi sasa mm ataki mambo ya kuruka ruka history ya vijana eh kaniambia nataka kuwe wife hivyo nikapelekwa nyumbani nikajua huko na akajua watu wa nyumbani Ivo ivo tukaenda church tuka fanya kaharusi ketu na tukaishi being that she's someone sociable anaingia na, na kila mtu sijai ona any instance yenye anavutana na mtu ama ame discriminate watu wengine she's so welcoming and then even the family the reception was okay walimkubali na uh, so far so good by the way kwa mbaya bila nipeleka kwao nilikaribishwa nitembea kwa kila nyumba kwa mashosho eh haikuwa mbaya nilikaribishwa vizuri sana walinipenda walinikaribisha first ye ni first mjukuu wa kwanza kwa boma eh na ni kijana wa kwanza mali nimeolewa sasa ni first son so nilikaribishwa vizuri alafu sasa mimi ndio bibi ya kijana mkubwa na kitu kama hiyo nilikaribishwa vizuri Mambo hai kuambaya. 
Uh, yes, nilikuwa naogopa hey, kutaendaje. Ju unajua si kila mahali unaweza enda na ukaribishwe. Eh, hey, unaweza fika, waseme ameoa bibi mkubwa kuliko uh, kitu kama hiyo. Lakini walinikaribisha vizuri. My aunties, sister in law ananipenda kabisa. Mm, tuko sawa, tunashukuru Mungu. Hatukupata uh, changamoto hiyo side. Kuna kitu inasema kuvumiliana. Ju naona wakati mmeoana bado haujui mwenzako vizuri. Naye bado hakujui vizuri. Sasa inabidi mnavumiliana kuna time unaweza fanya unaweza kumefanya kitu kingine mbaya eh? lakini kulingana vile na ku approach mnakaa chini mnafanya nini mnazungumza changamoto zimekuwa saa zingine hakuna pesa kitu kama hiyo eh? mnafika mpaka kile kiwango labda mnataka kufungiwa nyumba but mnaomba juu mnashirikiana kama mko na upendo mnashirikiana unapata mnajikuta mnaomba eh? Mungu anawafungulia tu njia ama hii time unapata labda kuna ugomvi saa hii tuko na watoto eh? unapata eh mmekosana ile lazima mgombane lakini hapa mnakuja kuona mkono watu mkono watoto sasa zingine unapili unapata umekasirika lakini tuna fight na simu unaona <laughs> unatumia mwenzako message mimi naenda eh umeona ni hivyo eh sasa unaona tunagombana kwa simu na watoto hawafanyi nini hawaelewi unaona sasa zingine mnapitia changamoto niseme kwa mfano hakuna doa hakuna vile mnaweza kula kitu kama hiyo unaona watoto hawafanyi nini hawezi elewa hiyo lakini nyi kwa wazazi mna ficha vitu kama hizo changamoto mingi sana lakini once mnashirikiana kwa ndoa mambo yote inakuwa tu sawa kuna time nimekuwa mgonjwa sana mpaka unaona he, hii time hii ni kama utawachwa eh? unakuwa mgonjwa na hakuna mtu yote mwenye anaweza karibia at least hata kuwasaidia kitu kama hiyo lakini amesimama na mimi eh? unapata ananiogesha kitu kama hiyo anakuvalisha nguo ana make sure umekula sasa yeye na kwa mke nyumbani sasa eh, apikie watoto unaona kitu kama hiyo unaona kuna, kuna ile time hiyo situation kama hiyo ikiingia unapata mwanaume anatoka anatoka nje anasema ah mimi hapa siwezani sasa lakini yeye amesimama na mimi eh, by the way nashukuru mimi mwambie ndio baba yangu <laughs> na ndio rafiki yangu one major challenge yenye amesahau labda Uh, tulipoteza our first daughter in 2018 she developed some kidney issues and she passed on it was so hard hata ku accept it took us a while hata kuamini but then we stuck together even now both our families really stood with us at that time and up to now as we continue to grieve and move on wamesitushikilia na pia tumeweza kuimizana za couple na tuko tu sawa ukiwa na mtu anakupenda na me kukubali venye uko na mnaimizana mnasaidiana you will just find everything falling in place out on a and then you also support each other you become each other's support system Um, unakuwa a first line of defense you are always there for her yeah she's always there for me and life goes on yeah kitu nafanya niendelee ku stick na yeye by the way yeye ni support na kitu naweza sema kwa watu wenye wameoana once mmeoana mnaishi jambo la kwanza mnafaa kuaminiana hiyo ni jambo la kwanza usishuku mwenzako mtu asikujia tio niliona mume wako na mtu fulani ama nini nini wewe kama mke uliamua huyo ndio mume wako usisikize mambo za watu unaona na usisikize vitu atio hivyo mume umeolewa iko hivi na hivi wewe unajua nini ilikupeleka hapo na mimi husema wakati mwanamke anapoolewa kwa boma ni Mungu amekusukuma kwa hiyo boma so kumaanisha kama kuna changamoto fulani ama kama kuna kitu fulani kitu kama hiyo kuna shida fulani ni Mungu amekutuma kwa hiyo boma ili ukaweze kurekebisha hiyo hiyo shida. So mimi kitu nasema wanandoa mpendane muaminiane na mkuu watu wa kuomba kama kuna changamoto usianze kulaumu mwenzako atio na ninda amefanya hii kafanyika wewe ndio umefanya hii kafanyika tusikue watu wa kulaumiana tukue tu watu wa kuomba kushirikiana kwa kila jambo hata kukue kuna pesa ama hakuna tupendane tuishi hivyo mimi nashukuru Mungu mimi husema mimi husema kitu moja Mimi sema mume wangu alirushwa kutoka mbinguni kabla vitu zimchukue hapa kwa hewa ni mimi nikaruka nikafanya nini nikavichukua. Cause <laughs> yeye ni support. Kuna kitu naweza fanya mbaya 
na mimi sijui nimefanya mbaya atakuja anitetee baadaye ndakuja niambie eh hii kitu ulifanya hata kama nilikutetea mbele ya watu ulifanya kitu mbaya usiyefanya nini usiyerudia lakini angekuwa mtu mbaya si ananirukia hapo ananiambia hapana hii kitu umefanya si poa lakini yeye unifunika eh? amefunika uchi wangu hajaniachilia kabisa nashukuru Mungu kabisa kabisa hajawahi fight na mimi juu mbele ya watoto kitu kama hiyo naona hizo ni vitu za aibu mm. nashukuru Mungu kwa kunipatia Mr Kennedy <laughs> before i settled honestly i was in some groupings sasa tu kiwa kabachela kuna ile pressure ya groups eh, twende hivi ye eh. tukona geni mahali twende hivi so once you decide to settle down sasa si unajua una shift your focus kwa the family setting us so i had to let go of a lot had to shut out some people and naweza say mimi nisaidia kwa sasa whatever i earn whatever little i get um, i channel it for the well being of my family so mostly these links za kitambo i had to cut them off nili sacrifice vitu mingi kumliko kazi nikaacha mm. eh, by the way ni mbaya aliambia juu unataka tuoane mali unafanya kazi lazima uache mm. anasema hapo nitanyanganywa wewe <laughs> eh, ikabidi ni niache job hiyo eh. time sababu hiyo period sasa tuna, tunaanza kuishi haikuwa rahisi no naona shetani apendai kitu poa kulikuwa na changamoto mingi sana naye mimi nikamwambia so juu kuna changamoto hiyo time job yake iliharibika sasa amekuja kuka Nairobi na kitu kama hiyo amekuja kuka Nairobi sasa ni kuanza maisha pia mimi nampush lazima tufanye nini tukae pamoja sasa hmm? ilibidi atoke aseme sasa hapa kimeumana katafuta ka single room box nasikiza hakuna mattress box mhm akaeka zingine kwa dirisha naye mimi juu nimesema hapa sasa lazima tuishi juu nishaona huu mume ni mtu mzuri nimemwangalia nikaona huu ni mtu mzuri by the way tunaweza ishi tunaweza songesha maisha naye naye mimi kutoka kwetu nilitoka na unga ya ugali ya kushagwa unga ya uji <laughs> omena sufuria mwiko unasikia nikajibeba nikakuja na Nairobi tukaanza kuishi hmm? akajika kama akapata ka stove <laughs> <laughs> tukaanza kuishi ipo na tukasonga na tukasonga na Mungu akatubariki mpaka mali tuko sahi kulingana na ile tumepitia na mali tuko by the mimi nafurahia najivunia juu alafu ni ni mwanaume mwenye anaku appreciate anakusifu mbele ya watu unaona eh? at least anakuinua unakaa mtu mbele ya watu alafu anakutetea hata kwa familia mimi nashukuru in fact hata, hata tukienda kwa hoteli sasa hata tukienda kwa hoteli fulani tu watu watadhaniuni kama girlfriend na boyfriend eh sasa zingine unaweza tuona mahali hata kwa hoteli asubuhi tukikunywa chai tumesha sababu watoto wameenda shule vitu kama hizo ama ukutana si jioni tuko tu kwa kakef mahali utadhani labda hao watu ndio wanakatiana kumbe watu wako na miaka mingi sana kwa ndoa nimekumbuka nikiwa na nikiwa na mimba ya last born wetu kuna watu utubeba sasa kuna siku mmoja ananiambia eh he kwani huu mtoto wenu ndio first born kaambia aje sinaona anga mkipita mkifika kwa mlima hivi mume wako anakushika mkono eh Mm-hmm. ana kubebe handbag kwani ndio mlioa anaambia we si tuko na miaka kumi kwa ndoa ati miaka kumi. si huu ni mtoto wenu wa kwanza ambe hapana <laughs> eh huu ni mtoto wetu wa tatu sasa unaona vile wanatuona wanafurahia kutuona hivyo si semi hivyo ndio shetani apate nafasi but lazima pia usifu kitu uko nayo unaona so hivyo ndio vile tumekuwa watu wengi wanajua labda hawa ni watu wenye ni kama ndio walioana lakini tumekaa miaka mingi 
bado hatujawahi punguza ile upendo wetu wa kwanza hata kwa nyumba bado tunaitana babe <laughs> mm. kuna time watoto wetu sasa zikiwa nasikia first bona anaita babake babe babe unaona <laughs> yeah. juu hatujawahi change by the way si ati tunajisifa manini hatujawahi change vile tulioana kama tunaisha tunaitana babe hivyo bado tuko hivyo hakuna mali tunaweza sema ti love ime change juu tuko na watoto tumeishi hapana na tunaomba Mungu tuendelee tu kuzidi hivyo 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 benja highlights uh, naweza sema ni harusi yetu it was lucky but then uh, it was uh, so nice that moment of love you ku take those commitments mbele ya watu and then taking a step further ya sasa kuishi Nama, and then this children started coming after we lost uh, our first daughter sasa wengine wakaja so they are all memorable moments just spending time with the family pamoja hata kuketi tu sebuleni mpiga story mkiwatch ka movie kishirikiana ka snack as a family they are so precious moments to me kama kuna msichana ama mkijana mwenye anatafuta bibi ama bibi msichana mwana tafuta mme kuna vitu saa hizi naona wasichana wanatafuta ama wanaume wanatafuta atio natafuta mwanaume mtol mdark sijui nini nini unaona ama natafuta mwanaume mwenye ako na mali kitu kama hiyo mimi tunaweza sema ni hivi kama umependa fuata roho yako unaona fuata roho yako na kama umependa usisikie mambo za watu ya huku ama familia ama sijui nini kama we ni kijana na umeamua huu ndio bibi yangu usianze kufuata mambo ya sijui mama yako ama babako amesema nini ama sister yangu amesema nini juu ya ude mwenye nataka kuoa kaa chini amua huyu ndio mke wangu huyu ndio mume wangu nataka kuishi naye naye ndoa ni ya watu wawili ndoa si ya watu watatu hata si ya pasta ndoa ni yenu wawili kama mmekosana kaeni chini mujiite meeting nyinyi wenyewe by the way kama ndio tumeona tulikuwa tuna tulikuwa tumepanga meeting tunasema mara si kwa wiki kwa wiki after kwa wiki mbili tunakaa meeting siku moja unaona tunakaa chini tunaanza kuelezana eh hapa by the way hizi masiku umenikosea juu ya hapa na hapa na hapa unaona eh na mimi ulinikosea juu ya hapa na hapa na hapa na hiyo time yenye tumepanga kama ni saa kumi na moja ikifika kama hujafika unatoa fine unaona so tunaanza kurekebishana ni nini unapenda mimi hmm? napenda kula chakula fulani na fulani ah mimi hii sipendi so unajua once ushajua mume wangu anapenda hii bibi yangu anapenda hii hapendi hii sasa mnakaa hivyo eh? mkikosana mjifundishe kama familia wajifundishe kuketi chini baba na mama msijifanya ti sisi ati mtu ako na asira kuliko mwingine na ukiona mwingine ako na asira kuliko mwingine jishushe chini na familia kama inataka kujijenga mke na mume watu wakuwe open juu ya vitu zao maisha yao mtu akuwe tu open mnakaa chini mnazungumza hii na hii na hii nataka kufanya hii na hii na hii hivyo mkishakuwa open ndoa itakuwa poa by the way mimi sisi sema ndoa ni mbaya ndoa ni kitu mzuri sana kama mko partner wenye mnaelewana na mnapendana na mnasikizana siwezi lia ati ndoa ni mbaya ndoa hakuna ndoa yenyewe ina changamoto changamoto ziko lakini inalingana changamoto zikiingia unazichukua vipi una solve mambo zako na changamoto hiyo changamoto vile imekuja una aje hmm. kama mnaweza kaa chini na mzungumuze mtengeneze mambo yenu hata jirani hata jua mnapiga nanga lakini huenda mnapigana hapo pole pole na hakuna mtanajua so mimi tunaweza sema mpendane muaminiane kila mtu ajue huyu saidi yake ni gani saidi yake ni gani ni hivyo ndoa ni ya watu wawili okay mimi naweza sema don't rush into anything you'll regret make your choice stay committed to it and then as vile amesema marriage is about two people the moment mna involve watu wengi in your issues hata supu ikiyeko vitu mingi waribika so just find a rapport doing your own things supportiane mshirikiane in whichever way to make your marriage succeed that's all Okay Ida uh, you are the best thing that has ever happened in my life and uh, if I were to make a choice presently ni wewe bado ningekuchagua 
you've been there for me. You've been so loving. I appreciate you. I love you more. And uh, I'll always be there for you and our babies. And I'm looking forward to spending many more years with you. Be the good wife that you are. Continue to be there for the family. Continue to be there for the children and everyone. And uh, I pray that God grants you good health and strength so that even the coming years may be even better for us. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Sidani kaka kuna mwanaume kaa wewe hii dunia yote. Ni wewe tu ulishukishwa na Mungu. Napenda sana 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 kwa kunisupport. Asante sana kwa kunijali. Wewe ni baba yangu, wewe ni brother yangu, unajua. Napenda sana. Love you. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>